Bloom's Tool Breakage Detection Cycle, P9608, is the easiest and fastest cycle found within Bloom's version 5 laser software. Although it contains five variables, only one of them is required to operate the cycle. The other variables can be omitted if you choose to do so. However, your Bloom technician will have left them in the cycle with their standard values so you can modify them more easily. Because 9608 depends on known tool dimensions, the only variable that must be defined by the operator is the H variable, the variable that tells the cycle which tool's data it should be checking. In this example, we will check a drill for breakage that is located in tool pod number 2, so we only need to modify our H variable to H2. As you can see, the cycle is extremely fast. For this reason, it is extremely important that you are sure the correct tool dimensions have been entered for the tool before running the cycle. Now let's look at the other variables in the cycle. The X variable, as in program 9603, defines a value to offset location of the Z measurement. This is used for tools whose longest cutting edge is not on center. In our example, we leave the X variable as X0, since we are monitoring a drill whose longest cutting edge is in the center of the tool. The M variable defines the tool to beam approach strategy. In other words, it defines whether the skip signal is generated by moving the tool into the beam where M equals negative 1 or by pulling the tool out of the beam where M equals 1. Bloom technicians always recommend this remain M1 or omitted from the cycle to avoid issues that arise from coolant and swarf. The Q variable defines the max allowable breakage before alarming out. The default value for Q is half a millimeter. Lastly, the W variable defines an additive length offset. This can be modified to compensate for tools whose longest length is on center. However, they may have an unknown cavity in the center. This is sometimes the case with certain ball nose cutters. Now we execute the program using H2 and leaving all other variables with their standard values. We can see the cycle operates in exactly the same way as if only using the H2 variable.